Tyler has all his Halloween decorations outside and every time I walk by the front windows I see his Halloween prop or one of them and every time the wind blows it's like there's someone standing in the front yard and it freaks me out every single time I get goosebumps instantly like who the hell is in my front yard? I'm in quite the pickle this morning actually because we went to the store this morning or me and Brixley went to the store this morning. We went to do our groceries and everything and she has this unicorn that she brings with her everywhere. She's obsessed with this unicorn and we bring it into the store with us. The first store was actually Hobby Lobby. I tucked it in her jacket so that it wouldn't fall out and like just like the head was showing so she could walk around with it and she did great. Well then we went to the dollar store and I remember taking the unicorn out of her sweatshirt because I didn't want it to be in the way of her car seat. So I made sure that Uni was with us and I know she was, I remember it. Well, we went to another store, went to the dollar store and when we got home, I don't remember her having it and it's nap time now and so she wants it and i'm like crap where is it so i've been searching the house i have no idea where it is we really weren't in the house very long before she went down for her nap so i've literally looked everywhere and i cannot find it so i call the dollar store and i'm like did you guys find a unicorn stuffy and they said they didn't but while we were there brixley likes to like bring her own little bag in or like grab a bag while we're at the store and she likes to fill it while we're shopping kind of like she's shopping and so she had this glittery gold bag like a birthday bag and she was carrying it around like filling it with nail polish and then i remember we went to like the toy section and i took the bag and dropped it like just like put it on the ground away from us and i'm pretty sure she put uni in there and so we walked out, we came home, like everything's normal. And now I'm thinking Uni is in that bag. I called Tyler because he's at work and he's close to that store. So he's gonna run over and go check and see if it's in that bag because I really hope it's there. Because if it's not, I don't know where else it is. This camera doesn't wanna focus. My autofocus is terrible. But dude, like after this, I'm done. I am done bringing that stuffy anywhere. I'm traumatized like literally this is like the fourth time we've lost it at a store the reason i had to go into hobby lobby was because i needed to pick up some birthday goodies for brie uh brie blah, 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 for brooklyn sleepover that's in a week <sighs> so i had to pick up some stuff and there's some really cool goodies in here so i'm going to show you guys what's in there and then i went to the dollar store and i had to get candy for the kids school so i got some letters because they're Friends are going to do um, like the first letter of their name at the sleepover and they're gonna like paint it. So I got a letter for all of the girls, which is all right here. And I got one for Brie and her friend because Brielle's gonna have a friend come too to paint so that the girls can pick whatever color they want. Whole thing of jewels. This was on sale for eight bucks. And usually it's $14, so it was half off. So I got a bunch of jewels in here for them to decorate with. Oh, I forgot this. I got some like glitter paint. I was gonna get like glitter paint in every color, but then I was like, nah. Oh, and this is $4. That's a lot of money for paint. And then I found these like little stickers. They're not too girly. They're not too babyish. They're perfect. So I thought if they wanted to maybe stick some stickers on their letters, they sure can do that. And that's it for Hobby Lobby got some candy for the girls at school because they're doing this trunk or treat next weekend and so we all have to kind of contribute candy so i just got some dum dums i got a card for brooklyn she's not gonna watch this this for brixley i don't know it's like a little tub she wanted for her baby so we got that for brixley i promised brielle i'd get her a surprise because she was very mad at me this morning when i had to bring her to school she wanted to stay home so i promised her i'd get her some squishy toys and then i got brooklyn some little I don't know, rainbow like pearls that she's gonna put on her ice cream with her. But I picked them up a bunch of nail polishes that they're going to paint each other's nails with. So that's pretty much it for my haul. I'm sure that I'll have more stuff to show you guys because I'm getting an Amazon order in and a Target order in today. So vlog's probably gonna be a lot of me sharing what I got. 
just an exciting day for me. I love getting mail. I love getting packages. Yes. Okay. That is all. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't. Stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time mm -hmm. Cause I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day I am on my way. I found it. I found you. I found it. Yes! You don't know how relieved I am to see this stinky old unicorn. It was right underneath the light switch to my daycare bathroom, and that's where Brixley was with me. She was trying to turn the light on for me because I had to go to the bathroom, and she was insisting that she turn the light on for me, and she had uni in her hand. I cannot wait to tell her that I found your name. Brixley. Brixley. Hey, Brixley. Brixley. Look. Look who came to visit you. She's back. We found her. She was behind your bookshelf. She was behind your bookshelf. Yeah. What is the temperature? It's 48 degrees right now. 48 degrees. Tonight is Brielle's last practice. Brooklyn's was last night. They have we'll one more game okay. this weekend. Just a okay. And then Brooklyn's gonna play basketball. No, I'm not. No, don't open the door. Uh, and then nothing for a while. Till like January. Brielle's gonna do gymnastics in January. So we get a little break. We get November and December off, which is perfect because it's the holidays and we're really busy with holidays. Brooklyn wants to play indoor softball, right? I don't want softball. I don't know, she's on the fence about it. The next week, there's no practice, but they're having a um, 
what do you call it? A pizza party and like a parents versus kids game. So we're gonna do that. That'll be so fun. I get to get my stick out. Kick some. Hi, Mama. Yeah. The rule right here is you add two. So 32, now add two to 32. 42? Nope, so 32, 33, 34. Okay, now you're adding 10. 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. tell you something that all moms are thinking but we're not saying out loud so glad that our kids are in sports but I'm so glad that it's over for a little bit we can kind of have our life back together I don't know just some peace and quiet for a little bit and not like constant chaos I mean I'm so thankful that my girls are in sports and they want to play sports but it's like it's so busy because I have two of them in sports at the same time and we're at the field almost every single night and so it's just a lot. Cheers to the last practice. It's going on eight o'clock and I have still to make everybody a lunch for tomorrow and get the girls to bed. So pray for me and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.